Oh, hi there. What's happening? Um, we've got a little bit of math happening today, and we are going to be doing scale diagrams and reductions, all right? So last lesson, 7.1, we talked about enlargements, all right? And now we've got our reductions. So what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to see, we're going to make things proportional as they get smaller, all right? So a scale diagram can be smaller than the original. The, bi the biggest example of this is a map, all right? which is much smaller than the original space. So think about Google Maps for a second. Um, we start at a really big view. So in our computer screen, we actually see a huge amount of land. And as we start to move in, we start to get our, we get to enlarge. So initially it's a reduction. So if a scale diagram is smaller, the scale factor is less than one. All right. And so this might be a fraction or a decimal. For example, it could be anything, 0.33. These are just examples. All right. And for our scale factor, we have length of the diagram over length of the original diagram. And I like to write this as photo over actual. And when we have a, a reduction, our photo is going to be smaller than our actual. So let's take a look at a scale diagram of a, no, it's not an octagon. It's just, it looks like a C um, with a scale factor of 0.25. All right. So there's a couple different ways we can do this. 0.25, we can also write it as a quarter. All right. So we're going to measure this with a ruler. So take your ruler out and you're going to measure and you're going to find that this is 75 millimeters. Um, so is this side right here, 75 millimeters, 75 millimeters. Right over here on our right hand side we've got 25 millimeters and we go around we got 50 millimeters, 25 millimeters, 50 millimeters, and 25 millimeters. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to use a scale factor of 0.25 or 1 over 4 same thing. So what I like to do is I like to write a scale statement. All right. Our scale statement is photo over actual. And in this case, my actual is 4 and my photo is 1. All right. You could write this as 0.25 over 1 as well. Same thing. All right. Same thing. So let's use the 4 over, or 1 over 4. All right, now we're going to make this equal to our sides. All right, so all the sides in blue are our actual. All right, so let's put this in 75 millimeters. And we're going to use cross multiplication to determine how long our longest length is. So we're going to go 75 times 1 divided by 4. And we find out that our x is 18.5 millimeters. All right. So this length right here is 18.5 millimeters in our, um, our new reduction. All right. Now we can draw that and it's going to look like about there, 18.5. We know this is 18.5 as well. So we can go there and there. And this is 18.5 as well. Now we've got to use the same scale factor to find out our other lengths. And we're going to do 50 this time. So we go 50 times 1 divided by 4 and x equals 12.5 millimeters. All right. So these ones in here are 12.5, 12.5. And so we're going to wait to do the next one, and we have 1 over 4 equals x over 25, and x equals, we cross multiply, 1, 25 times 1 divided by 4, and we get 6.25. So right here we've got 6.25, 6.25 millimeters. We go in. 12.5, 12.5, 12 
and again we have 6.25 in there. All right, so we have a reduction. Now my picture is not perfect. We probably should make it a little bit in like that, and then these are all going to be the same. All right, turn the page for me. Now this is a top view of a truck. It has a scale of 1 to 50. All right, so let's write our scale statement right here. We've got photo over actual. And if a, a rule of thumb, we can always make our photo 1 and our actual another number. All right, makes it a lot easier. So what this is saying, our photo is 50 times smaller than our actual. All right, and we've got a truck here, and we've got... Um, some wheels, we'll make it a dually. All right, and dually here, we got a wheel here, they're not very good. And then we've got a windshield right here, and it's a dually, it's a big truck. Okay, and so what do we have? And it says this is the top view of a truck, it has a scale of 1 to 50. The length of the truck is 4 meters, in real life, it's 4 meters. All right, so we're gonna find out, we're gonna find out. Um, some other measurements okay so we also we know this is four meters in real life all right so in the the front and the back wheels of the truck are point or 3.85 meters apart okay my drawing is not perfect but they're 3.85 meters apart how far should they be apart on the scale diagram well we're going to use our scale 1 to over 50 equals x over 3.85 meters now we're looking for the scale diagram that's my photo that's the top so we're gonna go 3.85 times 1 divided by 50 and we get our X to equal 0 0.077 meters okay now that's the same as saying 77 millimeters or 7.7 .7 centimeters all right what's the width of the truck well we measure this with a ruler and we get we know this is 35 millimeters okay so we want to know the width of the truck the actual all right so we know our diagram but we don't know the actual width of the truck so we've got our scale diagram we've got photo over actual I always write that because it just organizes my information. And we've got 1 over 50. There's my scale statement, or my scale factor, sorry. And we've got, we've been given 35 millimeters. And we don't know how long it is in real life. So we go 35 times 50 divided by 1. And we get 1,750 millimeters. Well, well that's kind of an odd measurement. So we divide by 1,000 to get into the meters, and we get 1.75 meters. And that sounds right for the width of a truck. All right. That's reductions. You can try the, these questions in the textbook of Math 9. All right. There you go.